and let us all that we can to build a better future. This story is going to be a little difficult to talk about. And again, viewer discretion is advised, but um, this has to deal with right now what's happening in Minnesota. Um, I think we all know of the unfortunate, horrific um, situation that took place um, where a young man was shot by the police. Um, apparently, the, the public, uh, what, what happened is that um, this young man, 20 years old, sorry, it's a little difficult to talk about because, again, this kid was just 20 years old. Yeah. 20 years old, lost his life. And apparently, when the police suggested that the man was killed due to an accidental discharge by the officer who supposedly pulled out her firearm instead of a taser during the confrontation, uh, again, this has all been this has been taking place in the state of Minneapolis. Yeah. Where Can you imagine Floyd... if it's like we're recording as press and we have our microphone and we accidentally pulled a gun? And... Oh, thought it was a microphone. Yeah. My bad. Didn't mean that. I'm sorry. I'm off scot free. I, I, I guess I'll keep my job. I'll just be on administrative leave. Mm-hmm. And and of course, this is all taking place in the Brooklyn Center in uh, Minnesota. Now, this is an article from RT America. I pulled it from here, but I want to understand that the video we're going to play it shows the amount of rage people have towards corporate media. Now, to be fair, there has been some moments here and there on our channel, on this YouTube channel, where we have acknowledged where corporate media has done its job, but they're few and far between. Let's 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 be real on how CNN, Fox News, MSNBC uh, present the news. It's done with a corporate narrative. They try and make the establishment seem like they're honorable or they're good or this is just how things are but we cannot forget how corporate media has divided americans and also haven't really informed americans of just how screwed up our neoliberal economic system is let's not forget that it wasn't corporate media that broke the fact that there's uh lead in flint michigan's uh, drinking water it wasn't corporate media that was covering the dakota access pipeline it wasn't corporate media that's talking about the industrial waste that's happening in indiana it's not corporate media that's talking about how the prison industrial complex is profiting off of the war on drugs it's not corporate media that's talking about how we're constantly in these regime change wars it's not corporate media that's covering money and politics and people are getting enraged and the exchange you're about to see is one of the i I believe he's participating in the protest and then there's uh, of course a reporter from cnn Mm -hmm. and there is such a divide between how the media gives us the news and how uh, americans really view cnn fox or msnbc and again like it's it's just it's interesting hearing the anger, especially how CNN presents the news, especially when it comes on the Black Lives Matter protests or anything else like that in regards to progressives or independents or anything else that's outside the neoliberal narrative. But how CNN is also trying to, like at least a report on the ground, is kind of talking down to this individual. Mm-hmm. But let's play the video in its full entirety, and then we'll give our perspectives. Daniel, I would like to start with you first, but let's first go ahead and play this video. There. Now you can see. Now, now you can, can see. see. Y'all be twisting up the story. You want to talk to me? Do you want to talk yep. to me? Okay, cool. Talk. Don't take my mic, I'll but talk. we're cool. I'll okay. Talk. What is your, what's your name? What's my name? My name is my name. All right. So tell me what you think about what's going what on What I think here. about this yeah. is all the press and all the extra shit y'all do makes this worse. You think so? Yes. We when did? people want to protest, yeah. they shouldn't do it in front of a fucking police. This, yeah. Courthouse. Shit like that. You get what the fuck I'm saying? I want you to be careful. I want you to be careful. I really of do. What? Of anything that can of hit what? you. Of anything that can hit you. Look at of all the stuff. Of, of this. Of, what? of this. Do it look like I'm scared? No, you don't. Do it you look don't. like I'm scared? You don't. You don't. Exactly. Y'all need to get up out of here with all that twisting up the media ass shit. Okay. Real shit. You don't know me, but we I don't know get, you. we're going to get to know each other. That's You're what gonna we're going to get gonna to know do. each other. Yes, huh? we are. Let's we see. are. We are. How are you going to know me? I'm going to, we're going to talk. I'm going to share yep, a number with you. All right, let's do it. No, let's do it right let's here. Let's do it. All right, here's my, here's my phone. Let's no, go ahead and share your number. Talk about something that's real. Tell me what's y'all real. Y'all just going to edit out the shit. That y'all we're don't live. Want, we and are then live. y'all going to edit out some listen, other shit. We're live right we're now. You're not fucking live. I'm live right now. I don't care if you live or not. Okay. But Get away from here with all that media shit that y'all doing. right now. Look, we're with CNN. Then we're take live. that camera all the way the fuck up there. Then. We are going up there. That's take it all the way the fuck up there. Us. Y'all doing all the extra shit for the backhand shit to make Listen, people look all crazier than what the fuck they there. are. All right, then you watch us because that's where we're going. There. All right, so everybody's got a hot head right now, as you might imagine, because <laughs> it is really, really hot right now. The crowd was. <laughs> Everyone's so, got a hot head because it it's really hot right warm now. Warm out. Professional, professional, he's, professional. I love how he's CNN. literally like he literally is like you're just gonna twist the story if I talk about. It. And she's like everyone's in a bad mood because it's 
warm. It's hot. No, it's hot. hot. It's hot den. It's hot. It's hot outside. Come the on. Thermal. Uh, <laughs> and then it's like you just proved the guy's point. So, uh, yeah. Congratulations, CNN. You get a can of SpaghettiOs in my book. So this is exactly what we talk about when we talk about news. And I think that I'm, I'm sort of glad that people are starting to see and act in this fashion because he's right. When CNN covers it, it's going to have, even if it's live, even if it's live, which it seemed like it might have been, what's going to happen is CNN's going to film it. They're going to film it and they're going to be, the reporter's going to be saying useless stuff like it's hot and everyone's upset. And then what really happens is everyone that's back at CNN's watching it, giving their uh, odd, interesting, let's just say, take on the subject. Like, do you remember like how many times we've covered like CNN? is just either mimicking or saying exactly what the police say. And remember that one time, I forget which protest it was, where, um, who was it that was uh, that was shot at with rubber bullets by police? Uh, this is, oh, okay, I was, actually gonna bring, I was actually going to bring that up. Yeah. So um, this was... We're the, the ones early, with you! Yeah, th- th- this was in the early days of the George Floyd uh, protests. And uh, I think it was, it was CNN that was shot at by the yes. police by rubber bullets. And the reporters are saying, we're with you. We're, we're with, with you. you. We're with, yeah. yeah. And then remember, we also were covering other events where they were filming. And you're like, and I was I made the point. I'm like, why, why is that camera like that? I'm like, oh, they're filming right behind the police as the police advance forward. Yeah. So, yeah, I wonder whose side you're on. Well, we know whose side you're on. And that guy who I think he could have been a little more articulate in calling him out because, again, everyone back at CNN is going to be like, that guy, we just dismiss him. Make a really good argument that's going to be harder for CNN to say something about. Well, actually, like, you know, say, like, you're the guys that are always with the police pretending to be on our side, trying to speak for us. You don't speak for us. My name doesn't matter. This man's name matter. You don't talk. I've been listening to you, what you've talked about. Something like that. So that's the only critique I could give the gentleman who's talking about. This is really the years of failure of covering these protests. And then again, everyone back at CNN, he's right, twisting the meaning of the protest or injecting their own thing and then having law enforcement go, yeah, that was really bad. They shouldn't be doing that. You know who they don't have in those circles in CNN when those things happen? They don't have protesters. They don't have the activists. They don't have protesters. They have have police. They have Congress people. They have advisors. No protesters. Um, I want to acknowledge the live stream chat because the live stream chat is just absolutely loving that video. Um, uh, first, Sterling W says uh, that guy should do the news instead of her. Uh, War Deer Inter- Inter- Entertainment says that guy won everything. He is a king. And Dave uh, Lavalette uh, says I'm proud of this man. Corporate media should be treated the same way as the Minneapolis police. And again, uh, also I want to uh, yeah, when uh, the uh, police say uh, really wait, dumb I, stuff. I, I, to I, I also want to acknowledge. I also want to acknowledge uh, yeah. just before. I lost it. Um, uh, Harjuk uh, 3000, you are there at the riot, but not on a daily basis. She doesn't get it. And that's something I want to yeah, point out. Yeah, she just out. pops in, looks at it, leaves. She's not yeah. there. Like, even when like when we covered events back when we were all on the ground all the time in the city, most of the time when an event happened, we were there an hour ahead of time, talking to everyone, understanding what everyone's point is, so we knew the context of whatever was about to happen. We would then... Go and film the event. We would do that live, actually mm-hmm. live, uncut, for a long period of time, not just two or three minutes. And then we would find different people. We'd find, oh, there's an organizer. Here's a person that's just attending that's not affiliated. Here's an actual member. And here's someone, you know, something like that. That's how we would do it. And so whenever the news came by, in our experience in Chicago, what would happen is we would be filming. I, I still remember the one in Pilsen. Like, that's the most the strongest one to me is we were covering an event. We were there, again, an hour ahead of time. We were, like, 20 minutes into covering a live event. And we also interviewed the people in advance. Yeah. And NBC pulls up in their van. A camera guy runs out, walks through, makes a complete nuisance of himself as he's walking through the entire event, making noise, getting in the middle of everything, disrupting the crowd, not settling in, not saying hi, not even acknowledging anyone, films the guy talking for five minutes as soon as he dropped down, doesn't care about the conduct, just starts filming the guy talking and then just turns the camera around and films a lot of people. And Like when we get to events, especially when it's like people that are fighting for immigration, we know to ask them, hey, do you guys mind if we film the crowd? Because that can sometimes be an issue with certain people because of legal status. No, it's the NBC. It didn't, it didn't in this case, but he didn't know that. He comes in, turns around, just starts B-rolling everyone for another five minutes, and they leave. That's it. They're there for 10 minutes. They don't get the ending. The context of what happened, I think the time that he was even there talking, it wasn't even a main part of what they were talking about. He missed all of the important stuff that was at the beginning. 
So when that guy yells at CNN for twisting things and not doing their job, we've seen it firsthand. We've seen Well, hold on. There's a couple other things, too, we have to remember on how CNN has handled the news. Remember, CNN, CBS, ABC, MSNBC, what did they do during 2016, during the uh, Republican primary? They gave Trump and his empty podium free airtime. That's something that CNN and so many other corporate media 